Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with Chief Meteorologist Jeff Edmondson. Looking outside right now, we have mostly clear skies with clouds off to our west that are starting to move in. It's part of this line of thunderstorms, or at least kind of zones of thunderstorms, where we've had them off to our west, but they're taking their time moving to the east. We have a severe thunderstorm watch that's in effect for the Hampton Road cities until 1 o'clock in the morning. We have a watch that's farther off to the west in the central North Carolina. We do not have a watch right now for spots into eastern North Carolina yet, but there's a good chance that we will, we will see one get issued for eastern North Carolina and the Outer Banks coming up here maybe in the next hour or so, but that's what I'm kind of waiting to see what happens. Another thing that I'm looking at too is are we maybe seeing a split in these thunderstorms? Are we going to see this kind of zone and cluster of storms focus in the North Carolina and then this one here kind of focus into spots across eastern Virginia while maybe a little sector here might miss out? That's a possibility. So that's one thing that I'm watching for too. There's a lot of different things that are happening into, into tonight and some of our models have an okay idea in what's happening right now and most of them have no idea that there's rain out there. Some of our models say that it's raining on top of us right now. So those aren't valid. So that's what I'm kind of trying to sift through and figure out what is going on with this rainfall. Let's look to where we have this one strong storm. This is the closest one to the middle peninsula and also into the peninsula. This warning, which technically includes parts of James City County here, goes until 1045 PM. This extends to the east. West Point right now getting some of the strong winds and some of the heavy rainfall as that storm continues that path to the east and that movement to the east, maybe moving into Gloucester here in about the next half an hour or so. So that's what I'm seeing right now with this strong storm. In terms of the wind speed with it, if we analyze that, I'm seeing wind gusts that are uh, still kind of in the core of the storm, not impressive, around 20 to 30 miles an hour, still strong winds, but I'm not seeing the extremely strong wind gusts with this storm. Not seeing any hail right now with this thing, maybe some penny size hail, but this storm isn't really uh, showing any big signs of strong winds or hail at the moment. It's weakened just a touch here in the last little bit. Let me just show you the last 30 minutes of the storm as it's been moving. And you can see 30 minutes ago, it actually looked a little stronger than it does now. It looks a little bit more kind of spread out in a way right now. So that's what we have with that thunderstorm. There's another one towards areas south of Farmville. That storm has a warning on it, but these things have been moving slow, slow, so slowly to the east. It's not even worth tracking because more than likely that's just going to fade away and disappear by the time it wants to move to the east. So again, that's the storm that we're watching right now. There's a little boundary and outflow boundary right here that's helping to spawn some of these showers over the eastern shore. So you're getting some thunderstorms into Accomac County right now. Not seeing any severe weather into your area, but you are getting some rainfall. Storm risks for tonight. We're looking at a chance not so much for tornadoes, but maybe hail and definitely still a decent chance for those strong winds. Here's a look at one of our future track models. This, I think this one's doing the best, but it's not doing that great. It has some rain moving into eastern North Carolina later tonight around midnight, one o'clock. Maybe some showers developing across the Hampton Road cities. It's going to be kind of a tough call to see when this rain is actually going to develop overnight. So I'm going to stay late. I'll be watching radar as we go throughout the rest of the night across our area to see kind of how this thing is going to develop and how it'll change. Our newscasts continue at 11. I would try and stay tuned for that if you're worried about what these storms are going to do overnight. Tomorrow afternoon and evening, there's also another chance for some thunderstorms. I actually think most of us will get rain tomorrow. Some of us will only get rain tonight. Some may miss out. This is kind of a tricky forecast. Yes, there's a big chance for strong storms, but the storms aren't developing, so you can't get severe weather without the thunderstorm that actually exists. Anyway, Wednesday will have a high of 84 degrees, Thursday at 83, Friday at 87 with partly cloudy skies.